I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will see how to solve equations which involve factorial notation. We have two questions here. Find n for these two. A is n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial equals to 20. And B is 3 times n plus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial equals to 126. I would like you to pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Now, we'll rewrite the factorial terms to simplify the expression on the left side. n factorial could be written as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. Since there is n minus 2 in the denominator, we can write this as n minus 2 factorial over n minus 2 factorial equals to 20. Now, n minus 2 and n minus 2 factorial cancel out. So you are left with a quadratic equation, which is n times n minus 1. Bringing 20 to this side, I could say minus 20 equals to 0. Now, this is n square minus n minus 20 equals to 0. Now here, 5 and 4 can give us minus 20, the bigger number being 5. So I'll write this as n minus 5 times n plus 4 equals to 0. So we get two solutions, n equals to 5 and n equals to minus 4. Now, when you get the solutions, you have to look into a couple of things. One is that n cannot be negative. So that is not valid. Second, you have to check with the question itself. n minus 2 indicates that n should be greater than 2, correct? n should be greater than 2. n could be 2 also. 0 factorial is 1. So I could write greater than or equal to 2. So this becomes the valid answer. So our answer is n equals to 5, correct? Now this is very important to understand how we should check what is permitted value. Now let's do the next question. It is 3 times n plus 1 factorial. So we could do this with n plus 1 factorial over n minus 1 factorial equals to 126 divided by 3, which is 42, right? Okay. Now, n plus 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 times n times n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial equals to 42. And uh, n minus 1 factorial cancels. So you understand the strategy now, correct? Let's multiply these numbers. We get n squared plus n, bringing 42 equals to 0. 6 times 7 is 42. So we get n plus, bigger number should be positive, times n minus 6 equals to 0. So that gives us n equals to minus 7 and n equals to 6. And clearly, the right answer is n equals to 6. And you should also note that from the given condition, n has to be greater than or equal to 1, right? So that is correct. So our answer is n equals to 6, correct? So that is how you can actually solve these questions. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. I'll provide you with link of some more questions like this. Practice and then take the test. Thanks for watching and all the best.